thank you very much for clicking on this video i am very very happy to have you here with me this is a preview of uh, ss1 chemistry second term uh, topics that we are going to be treating mind you this is a view of what you might be expecting during this term both in your ca and your main exam including your weekly text so this is where we are coming from we have about uh, 10 weeks to work on first week supposed to be rendered as a revision revision of last time work but i just want to tell you that there will not be time for the revision because we have a very very short time for it so we can't dedicate the week one as revision so please bear with me uh, we're going to start with chemical combination for other schools they will start with more concepts more concept two yes but we are starting with chemical combination the reason why i picked chemical combination first was because uh, we just did naming of compound last and we also do electron configuration last term which is our first time so the idea is still fresh in us so we need to continue with that this term so it means that there is a connection between last term work and this term work that is why when we are setting questions both in ca and in our main exam we are going to refer back to our previous term that is what i want to show you here that this chemical combination has to do with the naming of compound also has to do with electron configuration so it is very very important for you to know that so we're going to look into chemical combination what chemical combination actually means why do elements combine or why do atoms long to combine together yeah we're going to look into types of chemical bond where we have strong bonds where we're going to look into majorly on electrovalent and covalent bonds then we go over weak bonds we're going to look into hydrogen bonds van der Waal forces all those things are written in your e-notes mode concept we are going to look into more concept and i have a song for this more concept definition of more and the formula so we are going to make use of that if i were you i would have asked you to have gone and look for the song or you can check down the uh, the comment section there is a link that connects us to the more concept and the chemical combination song and also the gas law songs uh you're going to have a link down there in the comment section so in our more concept we're going to look into definition of more calculation of molar mass relative molecular mass calculation of percentage by mass of an element in a compound so in more concept two we are going to move it to more concept in terms of relative molecular mass we need to understand it better and number of particles when we come over you understand that types of chemical formula we are going to look into empirical formula and molecular formula and there is calculation in more concept so chemical combination why i put it first there is no calculation there so it is possible for us to run through it in just a meeting if we have a revision on this actually i have done a video on it also the link is down there you can actually watch it before coming chemical laws in chemical laws we're going to look into what actually is are those things that we follow in chemical reactions or information of uh, compounds so that we're going to look into there so we have conservation of matter and its verification law of constant composition or definite proportion also going to look into law of multiple proportion law of reciprocal and verification down in this verification what we are looking at is uh, using calculation so it's not that we are perfectly going to do experiments on it, but we can do experiments on conservation of matter. But for that of law of constant composition, law of multiple proportion, law of reciprocal, we might not be able to do the experiment in our school. No, it is not all that easy, but we can actually demonstrate how to carry out experiments for it. So we will go for that to week seven, where we are going to learn how to write and balance chemical equation. So we're going to learn writing and balancing chemical equation and perform calculation from chemical equation because a balanced chemical equation will be following the idea of the law of conservation of masses so we are going to follow that then week eight we're going to look into kinetic theory of matter kinetic theory of matter that's what we're going to look into this kinetic theory of matter is actually trying to refer us back to what we did in our first time you know we discussed about matter how we classify them and actually the particulative view of matter and the uh, uh physical view of matter so we're going to look into we're also going to use kinetic theory to explain change of states brownian motion diffusion 
and osmosis as uh, the phenomenon that describes or explains or supports kinetic theory of matter. Then we are going to look into the gas law, postulates of kinetic theory of gas. This statement is actually done in a song. I did a song for it and uh, did another song for it. Uh, it's the same beat, the same style, but it's just that I added the Graham's law and will be published later on, on after this video. I think two days after the video. So you're going to listen to the song over and over and put it in your head for the laws. So we are going to look into Boyle's law, Charles law, general gas law, ID gas equation, Dalton's law of partial pressure, Avogadro's law, which is very, very important, Gelusa's law, which is very, very important. Because Avogadro's law, Gelusa's law can also be used in stoichiometry or writing a plastic chemical equation or its explanation. Or oh, there are so many things we can use it for. Also going to bring the idea of this Avogadro's law, uh, Boyle's law, Charles law in future. You understand that when we enter SS2, you will get that. Experiment to verify the law. We are going to have a little just demonstration on the law. And we're going to look at the last air as gas. Mind you, I am not going to be going for this topic. I will give it to you as an assignment. Look at this. The note is there, but it's going to be an assignment test. What I mean by assignment test is that you read and come over and answer questions. This is to test your ability to read without a teacher being there. Just air as gas. And it's going to, going to take about 10 marks, which the school will still select the marks they prefer. I hope you get me on that. So this is what we are going to have in a view on not share of second term. So I urge you to follow us through. If you are a day student, I want you to help the brothers. If you are a day student and you have the copy of the information in the comment section, please keep it safe. Bring it to school and discuss with them because I always tell you people that uh, when you teach, you learn more. Secondly, when you win, I win. There is no problem. But when you win, I lose. I might be jealous. Think about this idea. If you lose and I win, you will be jealous and if you win i lose i'll be jealous so what's the essence of me wanting you to be jealous so i bring out what i know you bring out what you know i learn you learn you pass i pass all of us are happy you win i win i hope you get me on that that is the best mentality for you to do but you don't do the cooperation inside the exam your cooperation should be before the exam. Fortify yourself before the exam. Even sometimes, 10 minutes before the exam, I would like you people to gather together and ask each other questions. 10 minutes before any continuous assessment, they come together and ask each other questions, challenge each other. But during the exam, be quiet. But I urge you to practice what you see in the comment section every Saturday. The questions are there and the answers are there for you to practice them because something that look like that are going to be used in your tests, in your exam. So if you are fortified on that, no matter how they bring the question, uh, no matter where they go and bring the question, you are strongly for, uh, fortified to hit uh, a better mark this time. Remember, our target is all students must pass. We must have at least 95% pass for all students. Whether you are a weak student or not, we are not interested in that. We know that you must cross at least 70% so that we can be able to cover our damages in first time. Thank you very much for watching this video to this extent.